welcome to another video. I'm putting a rigid toolbox in my pickup truck here. Why? Well, I have it. And I guess I want to make my life miserable when I'm trying to put my gooseneck in there because uh, it's already impossible to see. So the first plan was, I don't know what these are for, but there's four on each side. I figure it was for some monster fifth wheel thing. So I tried taking those bolts out and I actually broke a T50 that I had just bought to try to take these out. So those things are just in there, rusted. Who knows how long? I mean, this truck's 20 years old. So I was gonna cut plates and bolt, take those out and then put plates on the bottom and then it stuck out and then I could just bolt them down. So easy. Oh, it would have been so easy. But I just literally couldn't get those out. I messed with them. I did spray some WD-40 on there, but I just gave up on that whole idea. Because there's more holes. There's a lot of holes in the bed of this truck. There's these holes here and ones just like these right here. So my second concept was to put just these right up through the hole into the bottom because it's already threaded from the wheels that were on there, right? So it's threaded with a quarter 20. Okay, good luck trying to get that <laughs> exactly over that. I mean, I just couldn't do it. I sat here for I don't know how long trying to line it up, but I can't see it, you know? I can't see the underside. So it's pretty much impossible to line it up, right? So now my final plan is this. All right, so I cut me some angle here and I've got one hole and one hole that kinda, I mean, they don't really line up with this, but um, one bolt will hold this and then basically, you know, you're just trying to keep the thing from bouncing around, right? So that should be more than more than enough to hold it there. And you think about when you wreck, somebody rear-ended it, then there'd be force that way. That'd probably break that. I could put it bigger than a quarter pound right now that I'm put it bigger than a quarter 20 here and a quarter 20s here thread them in it'll be strong enough i mean a wreck is a wreck you just don't want this thing bouncing around back here is the whole thing and to be honest just buckling down this one side might i don't even know if this thing will stay or if it'll hop around on the back side a little bit because um, it's not bolted down. I just go in here to grab a battery to do some, you know, work. Cause I actually just, also my saw blade is completely like every single little, every single little cut around there is knocked off. So apparently this blade is toast. All right, so now I'm gonna go get my cutter for my thing here. I open this door. And there's all these pink foam scraps, like all around here. I'm like, what the heck? So I'm looking at it, right? And something's been chewing at it and tearing at it and like trying to freaking get out. Well, not only did it do that, but it also chewed through the freaking wires of one of my fans. So I got my fan down there, I'm looking for the rabbit. I see this, I'm like, why is that off? I go pull the cord and it's been chewed through. One of those uh, partial day projects that turns into an over one day project. So this is what it looks like. And it's on there. I threaded, I threaded quarter 20 and then oh i also put some um thread locker on those 
And then that is a nylock nut that goes obviously down underneath the truck. And it's in there. Like, subscribe, peace.